Hello, welcome back to the Decent Coffee Everyday YouTube channel. And today we will be talking about puck prep. And that is basically everything you do from grinding the coffee to getting into your portafilter, distributing it, tamping it, all of that is, is summed up as puck prep. The first tool is, uh, it's called a WDT tool. It's basically just needles. Uh, these specific ones are acupuncture needles. Um, and this is basically you whisk your coffee and allow it to distribute in the basket evenly so that when you pull the shot, it becomes homogenized and basically pulls nice and clean throughout the puck. The same resistance across the puck. The best way to catch all your grinds into your portafilter is using a funnel. This is one that came with the grinder I have. Um, basically, it just sits on top. Basically sits on top and catches all the grinds into the portafilter. Very, very useful and it avoids making a mess. Absolutely a must, in my opinion. Uh, without a funnel, I don't know. It's just, you would have to dose into a cup before pouring into portafilter because no matter what you do, you'll have grounds everywhere. So I would highly recommend getting a funnel. That would be a, an absolute must if you're doing espresso. Another tool that's basically a must is a tamper. Uh, it doesn't have to be a fancy tamper, but it's just very nice when you, when you uh, tamp. If it's a precision tamp, basically creates a very nice, between the tamper and the wall, there's very little play. So when you tamp, it's, it's just a very clean tamp and not necessarily needed, but definitely uh, it's aesthetically pleasing more than anything. But this next one is, it's called a Versa Transfer Cup by Option O. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it fits kind of like a funnel on top of your portafilter. And then you dose into here, and then this part comes off and it opens the bottom up and basically allows the grounds to drop. And that's also another way of distributing it. Um, I honestly find it to be an extra step and I don't see any improvement in my shot. So why do more for the same result? I honestly don't, I tend not to use this distribution method. Uh, my favorite method would be this Normcore um, distributor has like, like about nine needles. And basically you pour, you put it in and then you spin this and it basically distributes the coffee. And in my opinion, this is, I found this to be the best way to distribute the coffee because it'll, it actually stirs all of it evenly from throughout the puck, not, not just the top, it all through the puck. And it's very consistent. So you can do this over and over. I mean, you basically just line it up, lines up perfect, spin it, and you got yourself perfectly distributed coffee grounds. So I would say this is my favorite one by far. Uh, I happen to use it every time and it's just very consistent and I was getting really, really good results with it. And then this one is one of the old, more of like the older style. Uh, it's like a wedge, basically has little fins and the same thing, you put it on top and you spin it. Only problem with this is it only addresses the top of the, the coffee. So it might flatten it out, but it only does the top. So whenever it distributes, it's only at the top. So sometimes I actually use the needle one first, I distribute it, and then I go with my wedge style 
and kind of get all the grounds nice and flat. And then I go in with the tan. So that's kind of my workflow, how I do it. Um, but the wedge is honestly unnecessary. Uh, you can, I find it best to grind directly into the portafilter with the funnel. And then all you have to do is knock um, the portafilter and basically all the grounds will settle into the basket. And then just take this Normcore uh, needle distribution tool and basically spin a few times and it does a fantastic job. The one thing that I noticed with the Normcore distribution needle tool is that if you have no head space, so basically between the grounds and the top of this uh, plate, uh, it honestly disturbs the puck more than it like distributes it evenly. So I usually adjust, raise it so that there's a little bit of head space. So when it spins, it actually has room to like fluff around and distribute really nicely. And that's, that's the only thing that I found that uh, makes this tool work perfectly or, and if you didn't, it would kind of clump up it just clumps up sometimes if there's no room for the coffee to move it just kind of it does too much compressing and it just clumps so i give it that little bit of headspace and that fixes that issue and it works perfectly so yeah this is my workflow i just i sometimes use the just a typical wdt tool and with the funnel and then the uh, distribution tool from Normcore and the Tamp. The Tamp I have is a Pullman. Uh, it's very, I find it to be one of the best because it fits the decent baskets and VST baskets very, very, very well. It's like just perfect fit and it's just aesthetically pleasing when there's absolutely no coffee on the edges when you tamp it. So let's make some coffee. I'll be using the optional Versa transfer cup for this for this uh, brew or for this shot. And so yeah, let's get to it. So here I am uh, cleaning the portafilter, drying it off. And now I'm gonna grind into the, the Versa transfer cup, RDT. See how the grounds are on top of that little divider? Really don't like that. Doesn't seem to really fluff up or mix once it's in the cup. Let's see how this transfers over. See, I really don't like how that, that little bit of coffee gets stuck on the little plunger and in the funnel and didn't really seem to transfer that freely. And even with hitting it, you can see a divot in the middle, which is not ideal for a good distribution. So let's do the norm core redistribute it looks good after the norm core little tap see even after i did the wedge distribution on the top it's still you could see that major uh like hole in the center so yeah overall really don't see a reason to use that transfer cup. It really doesn't make much sense to me. And it's just an extra step 
and it doesn't even seem to do a very good distribution in my opinion. So I'm probably not gonna be using that. Final thoughts about puck prep is I tend to just use the funnel, which is like I said, a must um, to you know catch all the coffee in your actual portafilter and not on the floor. Um, and then I use the regular hand WDT, which works well if there's any coffee coffee stuck at all, you know, to the funnel or anything. I just basically fix it up, and then I just use the norm core. Norm core, do a couple twists. It's absolutely the easiest way to get the perfect distribution every time. And then I just tamp. So yeah, that's my workflow and puck prep whenever I do uh, pull shots. And I'd be interested to hear what you guys use, what kind of tools you use, what kind of methods you use to distribute your, uh, your coffee into the basket. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.